hello also in last three videos we had seen how can we use static lookup transformation and based on the output of that static lookup transformation how can we insert or update the records in the target also what are the limitations of static lookup transformation and how can we overcome those limitations using dynamic lookup transformation so let me quickly open the mapping which we used so this is where so this is where the dynamic lookup transformation we use so if i go to the transformation lookup transformation we selected this property and that created a new port new lookup row all right and based on that a new lookup uh, row value in the case of dynamic lookup transformation or, or in the case of static lookup transformation based on the output of our uh, surrogate key we uh, bifurcated bifurcated those records for insertion and updation all right and at target if i go for the update uh, target particularly so we use operation as update we also seen in past videos how can we use data driven all right so in this video particularly what we can do do is instead of all those different look static lookup dynamic lookup this update data driven all those settings we can simply use this upsert so this is a new thing uh, which you will see in iss versus uh, power center you won't find this one at power center okay so we'll try to use this one and we'll see how simple our mapping would be so let me go back and let what i will do i will not change the existing mapping rather let me go back to let me close this guy i'll create a copy of this mapping so this is our mapping copy to okay and let me rename this guy rename and insert update uh, i will rather use upsert Okay. Now uh, this makes our life very easy. Instead of all these transformation we have used, right? We really don't need. Let me delete this insert guy. All right. I mean, I could have you deleted any instance. That's fine. We just need one instance. I don't need this sorter as well. Rather, since we deleted that joiner transformation, we really don't need the sorter anyway. So I will um, I will keep this expression. I don't need lookup. I don't need router. So it's just kind of a pass through mapping. Okay. Perfect. Let me just open incoming reports. Employee ID, first name, last name, phone, salary. Perfect. And at target, I will do that mapping again. okay now inst instead of update i will use absurd okay and field mapping let me just unmap all this and i will use employee id first name last name email phone salary save it and that's all okay it's very easy now i will just create the data set because we already have inserted the data so let me do one thing let me seven okay let me order this guy i will keep these 101 records two records at target i will sorry source i will delete them from target so now if i go back in target i have 109 records sorry source i have 109 records whereas at target i will have two less extra two, two le uh, 107 records two records less okay so what will happen ideal scenario is uh when we'll execute the mapping since there is an index defined on employee id it should not insert these two records there all right and since we have 
selected upset that means it will insert and if record already there then it will go ahead and update that update that record on what basis it will update that record so in target we have also selected update column as employee id so if, if that employee id already there it will go ahead and update that all right so yeah so we should see the second record okay it will first insert the record and the second record will get updated so in target we should see so let me comment this guy and if i run this too so i should see this second entry over here let's run the mapping hundred and nine let me run this guy perfect you see that so that's pretty much so it is very simple if we use the upsert right see it's very easy all right the mapping becomes very easy all right so that's the beauty of it so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video